Can the United Nations stop a war? Okay, to understand how the UN responds to conflict, we need to go back to the UN Charter, adopted after the Second World War. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, delegates of 50 nations had met to form the United Nations Organization, the solemn and hopeful expression of man's resolution to live in peace. The nations were united. It created the Security Council, which has 15 members. Five of those members never change. China, France, the Russian Federation, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Let's show this by smashing 30 years of history into a couple of seconds. When there's a dispute, the Security Council can call on countries to settle it peacefully, and the Council can refer disputes to the International Court of Justice, sometimes called the World Court. The Security Council can also impose measures like arms embargoes, economic and trade sanctions, and travel bans. As a last resort, the Security Council can authorize the use of force. That's basically military action, either by UN member states, coalitions of countries, or UN peace operations. These are life or death situations, so it's really important to understand how it's all decided. The Security Council adopts resolutions. Its procedural resolutions just need nine votes to pass. Boom, done. But with the substantive resolution, any of the five permanent members can block it. That's called the veto power. All five permanent members have used their veto power at one time or another. When there's a veto, the issue goes to the General Assembly, where there's a seat for all members of the United Nations. It's sometimes called the Parliament of Humanity. The General Assembly can make recommendations on collective measures for peace, but unlike the Security Council, its resolutions are not binding. Now, can a country get kicked out of the UN? That's never happened, but if a country persistently violates the UN's principles, it can be expelled by the General Assembly on the recommendation of the Security Council. So, for the UN to expel a permanent Security Council member, they'd have to agree to it. So far, no country's ever been expelled. But during the global struggle against apartheid in South Africa, the General Assembly refused that country's credentials for a number of years. First, discuss the South African question. And South Africa didn't participate in any General Assembly proceedings until apartheid ended two decades later. The United Nations is headed by its Secretary General, who has what's been called the most impossible job on Earth. It includes trying to get peace talks going, save lives, and stop war. In the timeless words of the second Secretary General, Dag Hammarskjöld, the United Nations was not created to take mankind to heaven, but to save humanity from hell.